You see, my brother, my sister, we live in a country that is so, so, so decadent in both morality and patriotism. My brother, my sister, remember when I constantly talked about Kwame Nkrumah? How we should market Kwame Nkrumah in this country and make him the face of this nation. Now, when people are coming to Africa, Kwame Nkrumah is one of the reasons they come to Africa, whether you like it or not. Now, we have a gem of a product right here in Ghana. But because of dirty partisan politics, we have decided to relegate this germ of a product to the background. My brother, my sister, now the Kwame Nkrumah mausoleum, as it was called, was in a state of disrepair. In fact, these people in government are not interested in doing anything Kwame Nkrumah. Now, if you look at their history, they have fought Kwame Nkrumah from time immemorial. They were those who got all the bombs, bombing Kwame Nkrumah night and day, chasing him out of this country, visiting him with bodily harm and mental torture. We all remember how Kwame Nkrumah was bombed right there inside Kulungungu and how he escaped by a whisker. My brother, my sister, Kwame Nkrumah was finally deposed in a shameful coup d'etat in 1966. Six years later, he said bye-bye to us in 1972 of broken-heartedness. Today, my brother, my sister, assistants, Nana Akufuado decided that, okay, the pressure is now too much. Everybody's talking about Kwame Nkrumah. All the propaganda we decided to do about Kwame Nkrumah to destroy his image, everything has backfired. If you cannot beat them, then you must join them. So they decided to refurbish the park. Up till now, my brother, my sister, whatever shenanigans they decided to throw around, whatever shenanigans, political underpinnings, my brother, my sister, have all backfired. Now, Kwame Nkrumah is one of the biggest tourism earners in the whole of Africa. The president himself has confessed over 200,000 people came into the country because of Kwame Nkrumah within a period of about six months. Listen, whether you like it or not, the truth is bitter. You can refurbish the statue and the runabout of Edward Akufu Addo and make it heaven. Some people will refuse to go to heaven. Hey, you can refurbish the statue of J.B. Dankwa. You can do everything, bring gold there and throw away gold. People will refuse to go there and pick gold. To who much is given, much is more than required. Kwame Nkrumah was a prophet. He did everything he could. So selflessly to be able to put Ghana on the world pedestal. There's nothing anybody can do, dead or alive, to erase this legacy. I'm glad that the president is confessing the power and prowess of Kwame Nkrumah. The Kwame Nkrumah brand is bigger than Ghana itself. And the earlier we got to know this, the better. I leave it here.